Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to talk about NPN transistors. Darlington pair is also sometimes called a super beta transistor. And we're going to put them together into a neat little project. So, beta is what we call the gain of the transistor. And it is as simple as finding the output current divided by the input current. So that would be IC over IB. And that gives us our beta. Now, you can do all kinds of calculations to get that, but what we're going to do for today is just use a transistor tester to find it out. Now, a Darlington pair is when we take two transistors, in this case, NPN transistors, emitter, collector, and base. The second one, the emitter, collector, and the base. And what we do is we connect the emitter of the first one to the base of the second one. Our collectors go to VCC. And this is, whoops, that's not a collector. It's a base. Our bases go to VCC. This is our input. And this is our output. And you can end up doing this and getting incredibly high gains in your circuit. So that's what we're going to do. Now, today we're going to be using BC547 NPN transistors. Very common type, low power, high frequency transistor. So I'm going to put it in the tester here. Clamp it down. And we'll hit the test button. See what she says. So our beta, also called HFE here, is 288 on this one. So we'll call this transistor 1, and its beta is 288. And we'll put that guy up there so we don't get it mixed up. Then we'll feed transistor 2 into our tester here. And we'll test number 2. 286. So, to find our Darlington gain, or our super beta, it's simply beta T1 times beta T2. And that is going to give us our new beta of 82,368. So you can see the exponential growth we've got there. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's add one more transistor. Because you can add three, or four, or as many as you want, although there is a uh, series of diminishing gains thing we're not going to get into today, but there's a reason you don't do like 30 of them. So T3 is 287. And that is going to put our gain through the roof. You can do the math on that one. So why are we doing all this? Well, I'm going to put it together in a simple little circuit that might be handy for you to have. So here's our circuit. We have a battery, a resistor, a switch. Over here we have an antenna, transistor 1, transistor 2, transistor 3 and an LED 
going to the collector of transistor 3. What we have here is a non-contact voltage tester. If you've got a multimeter, it probably has one of these functions built into it, or you can buy them separately. Basically what it is, is we've taken this super beta transistor, these three transistors now act as one transistor, and it is going to incredibly multiply the electric field of any AC uh, source you come near. You know, the, the minuscule little amount of power that's floating in the air is going to get multiplied you know, well over 100,000 times, and it's going to be enough to light an LED. It's a really useful circuit. So let's go over to the computer. We'll draw it up. We'll design it, and we'll get a PCB made. So here's the circuit I just drew on the whiteboard for you. The battery, resistor, switch. Then we have these three transistors acting as one, picking up the signal from the antenna, multiplying it, and creating enough current to light up that LED. So I've made it into a simple little like stick PCB, I guess you could call it, powered by an 18650 battery. And it should look something like this. Of course, there will be a battery and a switch there. I just didn't have the parts for them. Now, I had to create my own antenna here, and I wanted to use an onboard on the PCB onboard antenna. So I basically just created a hole, called it an antenna, and then when I routed this, I ran that trace through here and just made a bunch of loops, and should be enough. All right, I'll get these ordered. And through the magic of the internet, they'll be here in a second. I'm excited to tell you guys today about a new service from PCBWay. It is online rapid prototyping. That's right. PCBWay can now do CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing, and even injection molding. This is so cool. I mean, if you need a part made, and you know how to draw it, but you don't have the gear to make it, they can make it for you. Aluminum, stainless steel, all your different resins for 3D printing. So check it out if that's a service that you need. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, got the boards back from PCBWay in about a week. Now you can get a good look at them. There's the antenna we talked about. Bought for the LED, our three transistors. I made it, you know, so it'd be nice and handheld. And I saved you the trouble of watching me solder it all together. So there it is, all nice and put together with an 18650 uh, battery holder on it. And uh, you can see, push the button there quite nicely. I used a red LED because it has the lowest forward voltage, so it should be the easiest one to light. All that's left now is to test it out. All right, so we got 120 volt mains up here on the wall. I'm gonna bring her up. Yeah, it's lit, but it's, man, that's dim. Oh, sorry. Can I get both arms in there? You see that better? Hmm. Tell you what. I think I'm going to make another version of this. I mean, this works just fine. The light's pretty dim. How about we put a buzzer on it for the next version? What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring the video, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.